Okay, Tim, what are you getting? Poke bowls. That's what I'm getting. Where are we at? Well, we're at Urban Bowl. Uh, Grill and pokey. So it's actually really cool. This is a half and half store. It is half urban bowl and half freezing move because they're, you know, the same place here. Really great because then you can get a poke bowl here and then after your, you know, meal, you go straight over there for the ice cream. So I'm not ready for ice cream though. I need this first. Okay, Tim, go through what you got. Okay, this is my poke bowl right here. It has a rice base. I chose to get raw spicy salmon. Because, I don't know, I was in the mood for that. I got avocado, I got mushrooms, crab salad, masago, crispy garlic, sweet chilies mixed in, teriyaki sauce is on the top. It smells so good. So this is Hawaiian style dish because of the original intent for these dishes is you know, rice and greens and raw fish. This place is cool. It offers grilled protein options for those people who want sort of a soft transition into the pokey world. I didn't want that. So I'm gonna dig right in, get me some crab salad. Mm. This is incredible. I'm glad I got the raw fish. It's really good. The whole thing has that fresh, refreshing feel to it. It's like on a summer day when you sit back and you have that glass of lemonade, the sweat's rolling down your face, you take that real long sip. That's the feeling that this food gives me. It's just that refreshing sort of, I don't know, it's good. The fish, the avocado, the mushrooms, the, even the crab salad, the, uh, the crab itself, it all kind of just like blends into itself when uh, you start to eat it. I thought that it was gonna have this weird mishmash of flavors in here, but they all work together and it's so good. The white rice base, th throwing rice everywhere with my chopsticks. I got steak on it, it's grilled. So I didn't go the raw fish route, I just went grilled steak route. This one's for those people who don't like raw fish. They still have grilled bowls here too. Imitation crab meat, roasted cashews, sesame seeds, some sriracha ponzu sauce that they made in-house. They make all their sauces in-house. Avocado, mushrooms, oh, and of course, crushed red pepper, because I love crushed red pepper. Whoa, look at this giant piece of steak. Ooh, it's steaming fresh. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, oh. All the way down, comforting heat bite that just swims all the way down my throat. A I love heat it. bite? A heat bite, bro. A heat bite. I don't get it. Everything works so well together, and I love it. It tastes healthy. It feels healthy. It's only about three to 500 calories per bowl, and so it's a very healthy alternative to like Chinese food. So once again, this is like a Hawaiian, Polynesian kind of dish brought over from that area. It's just delicious. It tastes fresh. It tastes healthy. It tastes... It makes me feel good about myself. I'm doing my body a favor right now. There's so much flavor so many dimensions of flavor because there's so many different topics on this. I probably got 10 different flavors in this bowl working together simultaneously, surprising and shocking me at every single bite because it's just so delicious. I love this and my mouth is watering so I need to stop talking and eat more. Thank you. I can't get over Dude, it. Dude, it is so good. I want to go to this thing more. Okay, Tim. Yeah. You're almost done. Tell me what you think. I will. But let me finish first. That's the best food I've had, I think, all month. It's deceptive how much they fit in here. Because when you get it, you're like, that's a small bowl. Because this is their smaller bowl that I got. But I am satisfied with the amount of food I got out of that. Yours is definitely more on the savory side. You let the pepper flakes in there, didn't you? I can taste that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, that a minuscule amount. Like, a little bit means, like, there you can see it. Chris, so tell us what you got. I Loudly. Got, I got a bowl. Sushi, white rice, base, grilled chicken. I also use mixed greens. I have mangoes in here, crushed red peppers, teriyaki sauce, and honey wasabi sauce, sauce, which is really good, and straight up wasabi, which I'm kind of putting in intermittently. It is the perfect balance of texture. Along with all the spices I threw in, it really adds a little bit of 
uh, variants. I made that very spicy, especially with the wasabi, crushed red peppers, wasabi, honey sauce, and teriyaki sauce all mixed together. Teriyaki is not spicy. But it's spicy in my heart. Well, let's do strawberries, because strawberries are a great summer snack, fruit, fruit snack. Not fruit snack, but a fruit that you can snack on, you know. Snacky fruit, snacky fruit. I'll do a strawberry syrup, double strawberry. Is there any, anything else that's strawberry that I can put on it? Maybe some whipped cream? Yeah, that sounds perfect for another strawberry topping. Okay, so I got blueberries, a cinnamon toast crunch, like the literal cereal, and chocolate sauce drizzled all over mint Oreo ice cream. If you've ever asked yourself, oh, should I get mint chocolate chip? or Oreo, or like cookies and cream ice cream, you can get both at once, it tastes great. Like how I always imagined it to taste as a child. I got pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Chris's head just flies into the shot. I got pink lemonade, and on top I've got the strawberries, and I've got gummy bears as well, which are gonna freeze if I leave them in there too long. But, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Mm. They mix in a lemon Oreo. It tastes like pink lemonade, what can I say? It's really good, uh, really refreshing. It's uh, a nice sweet flavor after having the poke bowl that I had. So, so I got the Hawaiian Delight. It's like a pineapple lime kind of summer flavor. So today, they let us try their summer flavors, but I put a lot of strawberries on mine because I'm like, okay, let's make this all tropical and summer. At the very beginning, they take a lime and they squeeze it on a spatula that they use to mix in everything. And so I'm gonna try this out right now. Remember that part when I said that I was gonna try to make this as tropical as possible? I think I succeeded. By the way, Urban Bowl and Freezing Moon have a partnership together. When you come in for a Poke Bowl, you can add ice cream onto that with your purchase, and it's a dollar cheaper on pack. One of my favorite reasons why I love this, it's a creamy representation of tropical wonder. Okay, people, you see this episode, you see this card? This is our official Woodlock for Food Business card. We get it, we hand it out at places like this, but hey, check this out. On this wall are tons of pictures, and sticky notes and everything like that. We're gonna hide this card somewhere on this wall. And you gotta come to this location. It's 135th Street in Overland Park. It's the uh, Urban Bowl of Grill and Pokey and Freezing Moo. Come find it, and if you find it, we'll give you a shout out on our stories. It looks like this, okay? Take go. a good look. Here we go. So everybody, that is Urban Bowl Grill and Pokey and Freezing Moo Rolling Ice Cream. Come and check this stuff out, it is so good. Those flavors that we tried today from Freezing Moo are only around for the summer, so make sure you come and check it out before those are taken off. If you haven't already, please subscribe to us here on YouTube, that would help us out immensely. Also like our page on Facebook, we also have our own Twitter and Instagram, and our own website, www.willvlogforfood.com. Most of all, we are found on Patreon. Patreon. It is a great way for you guys to get involved in our process and get some cool rewards along the way. T-shirts, mugs, entries to the contests that we are doing almost monthly now. Yes, yeah, so much fun. So that is it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, chill out and feast.